Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. Today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about how you cannot ever, never, ever, ever be a lion without being a savage. You cannot be a lion without being a savage. You cannot be a lioness without understanding the savagery of a lion. We got uh, a lot of these things that we like to correlate ourselves with. Lions and lionesses are like one of the main ones that we all like to say we are a part of. We like to replicate. Most men say, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm raw like a lion, you know. Or they, they put in something with lion, you know, astrology got all these animals. They line up and, you know, people are like, yeah, 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 they lions. And if you actually process the lion, you got to understand how much of a savage you have to be. The most dangerous beings will have the most knowledge of peace. Just like these beings as well too, these lions. We all understand that a lion is allowed to have a couple lions, usually at least two or three. Protects, provides for its territory, females and the cubs we never take into account when we say oh we want to be a lion that it's all this life out here food being grown from the ground you know coming from the trees you can find food in the waters things that naturally grow that are edible but do we realize that lions are actually out here killing other spiritual beings? They are taking other spiritual beings off of this realm for their own fulfillment. Lions, if they take over a territory, they're killing the cubs and they are going to take what they want from the lion. See, when you flip the analogies, you can see how extremely dangerous this could be if you put it in human form. Most men naturally don't want to be a stepfather. It's just that simple. Every man processes them starting their own family, not with another man attached to it or another man seat. But you have a lot of demonic men who will put themselves in a situation, take over somebody else's territory, and they would do certain things to kind of remove the child out of the place, or children out of the place. Push them down, suppress them, do all these different things, you know? You have to be willing to, in human form, go out here and be a savage in society that means you have to be willing to step on people if you carry it, that lion spirit you have multiple ways to live life out here and the only way you choose to eat is by going to take out another being that gives you your most food fulfillment. Lions will walk past all kind of fruit trees and safaris, all kind of things that's edible just for that fresh meat source. It's a lot of demonic beings out here that's the same way. That's the same way that will step and eat anybody and that's usually their first number one priority choice of food. They got to have the most potent energy. They need that fresh meat. They got to have that fresh meat. So when you understand in these things, you got to remember that putting yourself as a lion is going to be extremely difficult when you actually start gaining more knowledge and actually processing these things deep down within. Look at how big hippos are. What do they eat? Look how big cows are. What do they eat? 
Look how big elephants are. What do they eat? What are giraffes eating? Some of the, what do gorillas eat? Do gorillas run around here eating other spiritual beings? Taking a, a pleasure out of being able to go hunt down other beings and take them out and send them on to their next journey? See, a lot of people and a lot of beings out here in today's society got so dumbed down that they lost the concept of being able to process for themselves and to being able to understand common knowledge. Common knowledge. You don't see gorillas eating five-star meals, six courses a day, and they still pretty big, pretty solid. They're some of the strongest mammals out here in this realm. A lot of females don't want to take into account that when they have a lion, or they're with a lion, they are going to take what they want from you. That's how lions work in the real world. Lions get rid of the cubs, and they start to go take over the lioness. The lioness be like, all right, cool, I may have a problem with you, but I'm still going to stick around. It's like almost how a lot of beings get stuck in quote-unquote abusive, manipulative relationships. It's hard for a lot of people to think outside the box when they've been controlled their whole life and they never really work at maintaining their own thought process. We like the rawness, the brolicness of the lion. The lion does its thing out in nature, out in life. I would never say that the lion brings balance to this realm with its process. But it does bring a lot of knowledge and awareness. And have you noticed, even the people who got pet lions, they still usually feed it some kind of meat source. So there's some kind of processed meat they're giving it, or they went out and hunted the animal themselves. When you look at you making the decisions as a human in survival mode, and there's no food around being grown, there's no, you know, you don't, you haven't figured out the fishing process or you're not near water and certain things, and you have to go out and hunt, and you have to take another life force, that's different. That's why back in the day, and under natural law, you could tell, like, people used to put more energy into hunting their food, and then they would put more energy into cleaning it, you know, doing their little prayers or, you know, their little, spiritual realm nuances seances to it so that way they can kind of put better energy around into that animal and that life force that just left so you gotta be willing to dive deep and a lot of people ain't willing to dive deep so that's why a lot of things tend to stay surface level that's why i always think it's weird when people run out of things to talk about it's cool if you like you just don't feel like engaging with the realm and you had a good conversation with somebody and y'all just kind of enjoying each other's vibrations. You know, you don't have to communicate or talk out loud to enjoy each other's vibration. But just understanding when you put in certain labels and things on yourself, you should be able to dive deeper and understand the, the process. You know what I mean? Lionesses, they need a savage. You know, they need someone that, that's gonna just go out here and get it done by any means necessary. It doesn't matter what means it's by, just get it done. I don't care if it's on the most disgusting demonic space or whether you just happen to find a carcass laying around and you decided to bring it back. Because natural law and natural life happens, so sometimes they don't even have to hunt it. You can say a tree fell on a bear or something and killed them. The lions was walking, they saw it, hmm, free meal. That's different. 
life has already taken its course. But understanding this 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 concept and this process, it's savages out here that, that want your head. It's beings out here that want your head. They don't want to eat your fruits. They don't want to like hang out with you. They don't want to mingle and, and build and do these things. They want your life force. They want your energy. They want your vibration. They want your bloodline removed. That's why you have to always keep yourself protected and aware at all times. Keep your defenses airtight. Every time you start getting air in through your house, you know, and it's freezing cold outside, you're going to notice. You're going to feel it. You're going to be like, oh, shit, it was warm in here. I felt this little crack over here. Now you're trying to figure out how to stop that up so no more cold air is flowing. Keep your defenses airtight. And just take a deep dive into some of the animal forms that, you know, all spiritual beings probably done passed through and are still passing through that we have to partake in. You know what I mean? But I ain't want to run it up too far, you know. I just want to open our minds up, keep our minds open, be able to think deeper than the last thing. Don't allow them to stop and hinder your process. Don't allow this box. Everybody say think outside the box, but don't nobody know what the box is or explaining what the box is. The box, this box, when they say think outside the box, the box is the thoughts that the system gave you. The thoughts that was already pre-embedded. You know how you get a phone and it's pre-embedded with apps already? and you cannot remove them, that's the box. They've been programmed under us. Our, our handlers, our parents, the caretakers been helping program us. We've been getting programmed. Be mindful of these things, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna run up too long, tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the people, please.